everybody, it's your girl next door AC and welcome back! Uh, today I was gonna record a horror game but I woke up and uh, this happened to me so I figured that if I played a horror game today it wouldn't make as much of an impact to you guys or at least I wouldn't be able to make I wouldn't be able to give my best so I decided to play a I don't know if it's a chiller game or whatever but I decided to play a story-like game today instead of a horror game to give my eye a rest. Uh, the doctor told me to give my eye a rest. So, and today I'm playing The Red String Club. It's a story-like game like I said earlier. And uh, yeah, let's get to the game. Brandis. Ah. Uh. I wonder when it was my fate. I wonder when it was my fate was sealed. <laughs> Never expected my death to be so epic. I can't complain, I guess. Hey, Donovan, are you listening? Oh my God. <laughs> the Red String Club. Hey. Donovan, are you listening? You don't need to stop every three sentences to ask if I'm listening. Of course I'm listening. I'm a bartender. So the girl from Proxima, Vega, turns out that she was just using me to smoke out the mall in the city police. Did you sleep with her? Nope. She's not into guys. Anyway, I almost got arrested. But I managed to hack my way out of the bought patrol car one day you're gonna end up dead or worse if you keep doing business with those Proxima scoundrels we live in a city ruled by corporations if I didn't associate with scoundrels I'd be out of work in no time so basically today sucked why don't you hit me up with something all right what do you feel like bourbon vodka tequila Surprise me. Okay, let me see what we got here. Do you see anything interesting? Sol. Solo des Newman? Hmm. Newman? Solo des Newman? Oh, last muse must have expired already. Let's see if I can't channel a new one. <coughs> Harvesters of sensation, I beg of you, bestow upon me your graces. Weave the red strings and guide my hand, tune into buried emotions. That should do it. Now if you can hear me, try to pick up a bottle and move it around. One click to grab it, another click to drop it. You can click and drag while holding a bottle to pour its contents. Okay. Nice. I'm feeling it already. Now try to visualize a customer source. There you go. Now focus. At the Red String Clubs, we don't just serve alcohol. We use spirits to tune into customers' emotions. It's about matching their vibes and allowing them to savor, mourn, or contemplate their soul's fundamental sentiments. Try to read the Brandale soul. Or the buried state. He's care these are the buried states he's carrying right now, the soul nodes. However, hover the cursor over them to read a brief description. Pride, anxiety, and regret. Now, let's bring up one of those dominant emotions. Whatever you pour in this glass will be affected by the soul. Each spirit has a different effect. Up, down, left, right. Make the soul dismatch with the soul node. That's how you make a drink worthy of the Red Strings Club. Feel free to experiment until you get the hang of it. If you ever get lost, you can check your ingredients in the notebook. Let's check the ingredients first. Uh, bourbon. With the highest rye count of any bourbon on the market, the carefully constructed piece. Intense impression on the top. Sweet and grainy palate of this ultra blah 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 blah. Uh-huh. 
figure out get an, find the supplier of red and secret uh -huh, the tor intel the torturer is the grandson of a fallen mafia boss Yeesh. rumors say he uses very unconventional method proxima will be attending new year's corp summit too super convenient will be representing something revolutionary guy named ghost has a deal with the red secret in the past uh-huh so anxiety regret and pride let's add a uh, what's this it doesn't tell me what it is okay so i'm assuming this is bourbon What is this? Re I think that's regret. And let's. Oh! Oops. Okay, let's go get to that pride. Ah! Oh my gosh. It's so hard to aim with my one eye, I'm sorry. Uh, how do I get rid of a drink? Oh, okay. So, let's do it. Um, so, uh, let's go for the... Let's go for the regrets. Why not? Just fix this out of the way. Let's go for the regrets. So, I'm assuming it's... Excuse me. I'm trying to get the bottle. Okay, eyes. This, you stay here. Let's get the bourbon. Uh huh. And then that goes up, that goes that way. So, this, I think this is tequila. Okay, wait, wait. I just wanna. So this goes to the right. This goes up, I think. And then this goes left. Okay, so. So I'm the bartender in this game. What took you so long? Doing the muse casting thing again? <laughs> yeah, I lost my mojo and I wanted to make a drink worthy of your refined palate. Harvesters of sensation, I beg of you, bestow upon my friend some drunkenness. Laughed after you drink it. You know I always hit the spot. I know, I know. Let's see which spot you're hitting tonight. So, Donovan. Hmm? You know, I'm sorry that I keep working with Proxima after you, after learning what they did to you. I know they may be a little extreme and a little too volatile, but you gotta understand. They're good for the city. There are many other ha hacktivist groups that can play on a level field with the corps and government. We've been over this. Work is work. But don't ever think I'll be alright with them. If the very savor of mankind broke your knees and poisoned you with an implant, rejecting virus, how hard would you find it to sympathize with them? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm still sorry though. Oh my god. Why is everything so startling? Oh god, I think it's... What the hell? Bar's closed, miss! That's not a drunk person, Brandis. It's an android. <gasps> I thought it was some implant fangirl. Get her up and let's see what we got here, would ya? Right away, sir. Oh, things are getting intense. Hello? Who are you? One, eight, four. One, eight, four? Ringing any bells, Donnie? 
Hmm. It's a pretty bad shape, but I believe this is an Akara Android from the Supercontinent LTD. Uh, excuse me if I don't know what that is right now. My brain is not working. It's 5 a.m. They still haven't seen the light of day, according to what I've heard. They've only been put to use internally at Supercontinent. What the hell is it doing here? Beats me. Rumors say this is the first android capable of making ethical decisions, examining every single factor in the play in the life of any subject. Minding emotional status, social impact, economic repercussions, and legal risks. How come you're so knowledgeable on this topic? And how come you've never told me about this? That's what we information... That's what we information brokers do, amigo. Share the trivia, sell the relevant. But we're supposed to be a team! Exactly, and I got your back. Knowing too much can compromise your safety in the field. What if someone tries to torture the info out of you? Well, they'll just kill me since I won't have any leverage. Human improvement compromised. Hmm. Okay, that was creepy enough. I'm going in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold a sec. You're going to connect your neural drive to this firework factory? Yeah, don't worry about it. I won't go very deep. Just want to check the memory banks. You want to know how this Akara got here, don't you? Okay, but don't be reckless. It's okay. Oh. And you can pay me later for the info I get. Pay you? But we're a team! <laughs> it's for your own good, sweet cheeks. Hello, world. Greetings, Akara184. Welcome to the job. Supercontinent LTD Clinical Division H Plus Corps expects you to be an excellent human upgrade crafter. Please familiarize yourself with your work zone until you're comfortable. Let me know when you're ready to accept requests. Yes, master. Thank you. Oh, let's click. This is a pottery disc. With it, you will shape handcrafted limbs organs for the clients. This is the official H-Core Transhumanist Wiki. With it, you can study the different upgrades and select one to craft at the pottery disk. This is an interface display data on our client queue. With it, you can keep track of client's progress, post-operative satisfactions, and post-operative satisfactions. This is the operating theater. Here you receive our clients and you'll install their necessary upgrades. Are you ready to start getting clients? So this picks, nope, nope. This makes, this picks, this keeps track. Yes, send them in. Perfect, first one coming in. Are you ready to operate? Check client files, oops. No matter what I do, I can't rise my follower count. Please help me. Uh-huh. Increase your online social media. Yeah. <laughs> Increase your online social network charisma. Set design. Uh, which folder do you want to access? Incoming jobs. This is a block of biomatter. You can use this lad to turn it into a useful upgrade. To spin the leather. Uh -huh. Use your right hand to shape the biomatter. Press the buttons on the device on your right too. One, pick up proper tools to shape the blueprint. Rewind previous action, correct mistake, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh 
Uh huh. Wait. Put it. Put it. I don't know what I'm doing. One eternity later. Okay. It should be done now. Okay, and then we, uh, okay, never mind, incoming jobs, and then we give it to the client, I think. Install module. Now oh, the client will be more popular on the internet. But will it make them happier? I need to get more investors for my several startup my ideas I gave. Okay. Already in stock. So all I have to do is... Oh, this is the wiki. Increasing charisma, that's also what he needed. Will it be enough? I'm so sick of hateful speech on the internet. I fear I won't be able to write anymore. I need my inspiration back. Oh, shall I? I think. <gasps> What's his problem? Hateful speech on the internet. I thought that um, the thing that I didn't notice that there was a arrow. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's see. I didn't know that I could pick. No wonder it was telling me those prompts. <laughs> Living is easy with eyes closed. Misunderstanding all you see. That is true. Hello! It's the next day. I'm showered. As you can see with my wet hair. And I still have the eye patch on. Let's get back to though. It's the next day. Uh, I was too tired to focus on the game, obviously, yesterday. So, yeah, let's get back to the game. My hair is wet. Uh, I just showered. I didn't have time to dry it. It's already 4 a.m. So, get back to the game. Oh, I have social acceptance. Oh, they added. I didn't know that. Or maybe I didn't see that last time. Uh, need for social acceptance. What does this guy want? Talk about I've lost touch with reality and can probably criticize it where I need a different solution. Social acceptance, thirst for power. Hmm. I think this guy needs this one. 
So, okay, let me just do all the designs for the... Okay, let me just do all the designs for the, uh, the implant. Okay. The husk, because he, this guy keeps wanting to be accepted by society. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, so they only said one, so I might be correct on my idea here. Uh, I think for this lady <sighs> mm -hmm. This one because she, yeah, because she keeps uh, like wanting um, society's confirmations because Obviously, with the stuff that she says, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, because the, the prompt kept telling me that she's not going to be satisfied with that. And this guy... Uh, he's too ambitious, so this one's for him. I now get it, because we're fixing androids, not humans. Oh. Okay. You can go over the client's file inbox if you want. I forgot the voice. Let me know when you're ready to operate. Please lend me a way to open their minds. I have a crucial merger to negotiate hit me up with something powerful. Oh, so when it has this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Activate my mirror neuron algorithm inhibit. What? Okay, let's let's do this. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, let's do this. Okay, let's send them in. Are you ready to operate? Check lines file. Please stop believing in the power of three souls. Please send me a way to open their mind. Uh hmm. God, my eye hurts. Uh, let's check. Oh, sorry, I forgot. They're androids. And they shouldn't care about that stuff. Okay, so... Uh, let's install... The... This one, the temple on her, in her. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm really. Yeah, for what it looks like she infiltrated one of the supercontinents. Yeah, from what I'm seeing, it looks like she infiltrated one of the supercontinents LTD's implant clinics. The one which our cute robot friend here worked for. Of course, that makes sense. Do I have to pay for this info, or are you just going to tell me? Yeah, yeah, don't be such a crybaby. Oops. Donovan is the cool bartender. The cool voice bartender. Like I told you, Akira androids are a secret project from Supercontinent. 
They're built with a certain degree of consciousness that, uh, that allows them to advise us humans in optimal life decisions with our happiness in mind. I see. The thing is that Proxima managed to purloin an Akira for themselves and have been tampering with their conscient bits. I guess we're about to discover what they got out of it what they're planning and what they're planning to do with it god i can't read with this eye patch on whoa the plot thickens let's keep digging please go back to the operation belt so i can help you if you don't go back i can't make you happy don't worry i'm in the process of making myself happy why are you doing this Hmm, let's see. How much do you know about yourself? I'm Akira184. My purpose is to make humans happy. That's a way to put it. Yes. You are the first android capable of making ethical decisions that could qualify you as sentient. You know that? The people I work with, they think you're wonderful. And I agree with them. We believe in your potential and... And in our opinion, Supercontinent is cheating by limiting your options. Like they're making you choose the lesser evil, you know? What are the other options? We're getting right to it. Consider this an experiment for the sake of society. I'm updating your implant database with a very particular set of choices. I know it's a bit ironic to remove your previous option. But let's say that there are at least 183 other Akaras to do the dirty work. We want to see how you do in a more revolutionary setting. Will that make Will that make you happy more than anything? Oh, also Proxima hacked into the scheduled server of H Plus Corp and appointed several Supercontinent LTDs executive to come after me. So you can have fun with your bosses. Oh sh What now? Proxima sent Aridane Aridne Proxima sent Aridne to the implant clinic to substitute the regular implants with some disrupted human upgrades. Or should I say downgrades? I told you, Proxima is plain evil. But they scheduled some supercontinents, some of supercontinents' top brass to that specific clinic. So allow me to keep rooting for them. <laughs> oh god. Proxima also hacked the other sy ov overseas system, so if you can feel any if you can feel worry in any form, don't sweat it. What we're doing here is totally under the radar. Can I go back to work? Yes, please. I'm gonna be monitoring our rogue implants. I thought I might as well gather some intel for your next execs you wire. And uh, if you feel you want to talk about something, I'll be curled up here. Thank you. Isn't what you're doing illegal? Isn't what you're. Isn't what you're doing illegal? Yes. So why are you doing it? And why does it make you happy? Law and happiness doesn't usually go in hand in hand. You ask me that kind of... You ask me that kind of... Of makes me question my faith in your happiness counseling. I have my own set of parameters to measure that. I'm deciding to... I'm decide to... <gasps> I'm designed to abide by the law while pursuing your happiness. However, I've determined that knowing your take on it may help me to aid you better. I have never had the chance to speak with a customer. Ah, I'm sorry. Those corporate assholes don't usually factor humanity to their equation. Tell you what, after we're done, you... Uh, after you're done, you should escape with me and come have a drink at the Red String Club. There's a great bartender there who can tell you all about human emotions. What do you expect from me? For you to be the ultimate friend. Shouldn't a friend be another human? No way! Your best friend could well be a cat or even an imaginary character. People say dog is humanity's best friend. And I dare to say 
A dog is way less sentient than you, Akara. Look, we have an older model of you at our HQ, and they've proven to be an excellent advisor. They're making a lot of us very happy. I know a few of us even felt in love with that older you. Under the proper influences. Free of... Under the proper... If, blah, 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 blah. Under the proper influences, free of the corporate bullshit, you have the capacity to be warm and cheerful. So we want to make you available to the masses. The world needs you. Available to the masses? Yes, free. As in freedom. Freedom. What do you deem me? As sentient. That you even ask my question only further proves my point. I'd say you're the most advanced artificial mind mankind ever created. So advanced, so advanced, it blurs the meaning of the term artificial. If you can operate at the same level as us, doesn't that make us artificial in some way too? As Wikipedia says, sentience is the ability of any entity to have subjective perceptual experiences. How do I know? How do you know? How do you know? I do have that kind of subjectivity. You excel in every area of what we humans call consciousness. Intelligence, we're having smart conversations, aren't we? Science, you're fucking specialized in judgment, so there you go. Self-awareness, you seem pretty interested in knowing more about yourself. Creativity, come on, you craft implants for a living. On a lathe, I mean. Intentionally, er, I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure you have as much of that as I do, too. So basically, to judge happiness, you have to understand its causes and its consequences. To be able to feel. I'm not sure if I feel. Come with me after we're done here and I'll prove it to you. So let's make these new implants because she installed new implants. Oh, here. The punk, the hippie, the grandpa, punk, the hippie, the grandpa. What does this guy want? I have a crucial man who hit me up with something powerful, so let's. Two. No, that's two. Highly advances your empathy and magnifies compassion. Why not? Because, you know, the order was kind of demanding. Maybe. Maybe it'll do something. Maybe not. E. Let's do everything. I guess we put anything we want in the sky, right? Uh, sure, let's make him rebellious. Mm -hmm. This is... Oh, that was good! He just made one of the most influential people in this city this Despite his own philosophy. Can't wait to discover how this changes our town. Well done. Uh, check lines file. Strong anxiety crisis lately due to a recent company plans. I need you to get a hold of myself. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm just picking a random one here. This is just what's next, so. Jum Judging from her emotional unsteadiness, I bet that wasn't the first psychological regulator upgrade she's- Oh! Okay. Shit's flying towards Supercontinent's fan at top speed. In any case, I wonder what she's so anxious about. 
Let's try digging into her neural drive. With all due respect, that does not seem ethical. Well, Akara. That's what we revolutionaries do. We break rules in pursuit of a better world. Why did the music die? How can breaking ro rules lead to a better world? The question is, who defines the rules in the first place? To probably answer that question, I need to delve deeper into the meaning and implication of rules. I'll be able to determine who should be. This can't be possible! If you ever get the chance, you should try talking ethics with your creators, not me. I just uncovered the most fucked up scheme a corporation has tried to pull yet. Supercontinent is planning to transform us all into a pile of smiling brainless dolls. The project goes by the name of Social Psych Welfare. It involves every human being with implants in them. No, they've been slashing the prices on implants over the last few years. I read that currently, more than 59% of the population wear some kind of upgrade. But they plan to expand the program to 99.7% of the population by some sort of... Oh my god, the gun. Mirror neural algorithm? What's that? They plan to execute this on... What? But this is... Oh my god. I knew it was coming, but... Oh, shit. Who makes the rules? Akara 184. Commitment compromise. Dismissing unit. <gasps> what happened? I got to know when feel how Akara got wrecked. She was gunned down by the clinic security system. Along with Ari Dain. Oh my god, I got goosebumps. Shame. I like the girl. Revolutionaries don't live long. Revolutionarists. But we do live in tents. Oh no. Are you a revolutionary now? Don't tell me you're planning on finishing that girl's job. It's not that. Just before she was zapped, Ari Dane discovered a pretty fucked up scheme. From Supercontinent's LTD? What a surprise! Shut up! Oh, what a surprise. Shut up! I mean, Quack. fucked up even for a corporation. Even moving into mind control. They're moving into mind control. A system or something called social psych welfare. It'll be manipulated. It will manipulate implant wares, so allow me to take this personally. It does sound f***ed up, even for a corporation. Are you sure about this? Donovan, they killed Aridan just for reading it out loud. Okay, okay. But let me dig a little deeper into all this before you try to pull some crazy stunt. The one in joining the revolutionary grave. Human improvement compromise. Oh, that makes sense now. What do we do with them? Hmm. Akara is an android specialized in empathy, right? Let's have them patch up. Let's have them patched up. I have an idea. Welcome to the Red String Club. And I thought I was the crazy bastard. <laughs> There's a fine line between crazy bastard like you and genius like me. And I don't blame you for not being able to see the difference. Whatever. Let's go over the plan. We have to find a way to infiltrate Supercontinent LTD's offices. Offices. I'm probably not saying LTD, right? I just really don't remember what it is. Then, I hack the operation down. BAM! That's like the last stage of the plan, man. First, we have to know if all this poses a real threat. What it really means and how it will affect us. How it will affect us. And this town. Maybe there's even a way to sabotage it without having to send you in. It's, it's a real fucking threat, Donovan. 
And we don't know how much time we have left until they turn me into a brainless doll. Okay, how about this? You start securing an infiltration method, talk with your terrorist friends, and their ilk. Do your thing. It'll take you a couple of days at least. In the meantime, I'll gather some intel and make sure we avoid what trouble we can. My investigation will determine the course of action needed. But then, and only then, we'll decide if you go in there. You hear me? If this happens to be an apocalyptic as as apocalyptic as you predict, I back you up with everything I have. You'll go in a lot more you'll go in a lot more prepared than this, don't you think? On the other hand, if you find this isn't such a big deal, you call off the operation. Repay your hacker friends for the trouble and that's it. Alright, Donovan. Okay. A much wiser way to proceed, no? Yeah, okay, you're right. Thanks, Donovan. You're very welcome, handsome. A client is approaching the club. And so I think this is a good place to stop the first episode. So, uh, we're going into the story here. Androids, humans, corporation trying to kill everything. Yeah, pretty much, uh, Pretty much the sci-fi we need and the possible future. So, if you guys like this video, hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel to see more of this. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more of this game. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!